How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel for some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best Hauer 77 class setup. So to start us off, for the muzzle, you're going to be wanting to run the duckbill choke, which is the first choke you unlock. It gives you a wider bullet spread, or pellet spread I should say, which gives you a better chance of hitting your shot while hip firing. So it make, basically spreads all the pellets out farther so you don't have to be as accurate. Up next, we're gonna go with the 24.1 inch Ranger barrel. A lot of people would say not, why not run the 25.2 inch Task Force? It's a longer barrel. That's true, but at the same time, it only gives you damage. It doesn't give you damage range, which is the important one with a shotgun. So the 24, 5.2 inch Task Force would be very good for close range in one pumping people. But if you're gonna be that close anyways, you're probably gonna one pump them anyways. So the 24.1 inch Ranger gives you that effective damage range by 30% which makes it, makes it so it hits harder from a longer range. Moving on, I went with the five milliwatt laser, uh, just better hip fire accuracy as you use, when you use a shotgun, you're gonna be hip firing a lot more than aiming down the sights. So it just made sense to run the five milliwatt over like the steady aim or the ember sighting point. Now up next, I went with the eight round tube. Uh, there's not much need to say here. The reload's rather slow and you're gonna be getting into a lot of engagements at close quarters. So you're not gonna really have a chance to reload so eight bullets, just perfect. It's the perfect amount to take a bunch of gunfights. And to finish this off, I went with the shotgun stock. I did this for sprint to fire speed. This being sprint to fire speed while you're hip firing is very important. It slows down the, or it speeds up the time from when you're shooting. So if you're coming at a full sprint, you can shoot a lot quicker than you would be able to without that extra sprint to fire speed. Now moving on to the rest of the class here, you can see I was using an AK-47. I don't think I used it all too much. I think I might have used it for like one or two kills just to get out of middle map in Nuketown because the shotgun, you know, you can take the long range gunfights to clear yourself out. Um, I thought I was gonna be using it a lot more to be honest, but I didn't end up doing so. Um, then of course, stim shot, Semtex, field mic, flak jacket, tack mask, scavenger, gearhead, ghost, and gung-ho. Gung-ho is the very important one here, uh, being able to reload while sprinting and hip fire while sprinting so everything looks great on the class this is definitely the class i would recommend <clears throat> to run a shotgun with now if you guys are going for camos right now it would be highly recommended that you guys go for the shotguns right now because my guess is they're going to get nerfed seeing as it's seeing as how they're secondaries i can't imagine they're going to keep them the way they are uh it's completely overpowered to run like an m16 be able to one burst people from a long range and then pull out a shotgun if they put you close up in a house like Newtown. Uh, I just see them definitely nerfing those, so definitely get your camos out of the way. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me as we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you like the video, make sure you do so, and I'll catch you at the end. All right, we just spawned in a little late here. I'm actually having a big problem with my controller. Um... It's not sprinting. It's stopping sprinting, I suppose. Yeah, no, we're not staying here. I'm gonna have to play extremely, like, I wouldn't call it campy, but stealthy in this lobby. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. All right. Like, there's a kid all the way in the spawn back there. I'm just gonna sit right here. Alright. I gotta go. I gotta go up here. I need to reload this. I am going to use my AK-47 if I have to. I don't want to... Alright, we're going to hit it. I was just about to say I don't want to hit it. But... We're going to hit it. I need to heal. I'm not gonna run in there like an idiot. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we're gonna run. Get myself out of that situation. The problem is now is I gotta get to the other side of the map, which is not ideal. We do have a field mic, but we're gonna use this for a second. Cause I need to get to the other side of the map. Or I could just stay here. I think I'm just gonna stay here. Get this down. Maybe go up here. Yeah, I'm not trying to choke the noob, so... Okay, they're here. Losing and that kid's got ghosts. I'm just gonna camp for a second. Nah, man, that was my kill. Okay. Oh my god, man. I, just, I choked. I was trying to just hold off long. His one shots, but mine doesn't one shot. That's fine, man. I am all focused up. Yo, my controller won't run. I'm all focused up. That's my fault. But my controller is having such a problem with sprinting right now. 26. And I'm dead. Again. Man. Okay. Dude. My controller will not run.
That's fine. We got 66, so it's good. That's really good, actually. Can't be mad. Knifer. Wow. Finish the game with 76, I'll take it, man. I choked twice off my nuke. Situation if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.